Here begins the interview with the devil. I have uncovered the secret code by which I can pick up your thoughts. I have come to ask you some very plain questions and I demand that you give me direct and truthful answers. Are you ready for the interview, Mr. Devil? Yes, I am. But you must address me with more respect. During this interview, you will address me as Your Majesty. By what right do you demand such a royal respect? You should know I control 98% of the people of your world. Do you not think that entitles me to rate as royalty? Have you proof of your claim? Of what does your proof consist? Of many things. If you want answers, you will address me as Your Majesty. Some things you will understand, some you will not. In order that you may get my viewpoint, I shall describe myself and correct the false notions people have of me and my place of abode. That is a fine idea, Your Majesty. Start by telling us where you live, then describe your physical appearance. My physical appearance? <laughs> Why, my dear Mr. Earthbound, I have no physical body. I would be handicapped by such an encumbrance as those in which you Earthbound creatures live. I consist of negative energy, and I live in the minds of people who fear me. I also occupy one half of every atom of physical matter and every unit of mental and physical energy. Perhaps you will better understand my nature if I tell you I am the negative portion of the atom. Oh, I see what you're preparing to claim. You are laying the foundation to say that if it were not for you, there would be no world, no stars, no electrons, no atoms, no human beings, nothing. Is that correct? The other half is occupied by my opposition. Opposition? What do you mean? The opposition is what you earthbound call God. So you have the universe divided up with God. Is that your claim? Not my claim, but the actual fact. Before this interview is finished, you will understand why my claim is true. You will also understand why it has to be true. Or there could be no world such as yours, no earthbound creatures such as you. I am no beast with a forked tongue and a spiked tail. But you do control the minds of 98 of every honey people. You said so yourself. Who causes all the misery in this 98% devil-controlled world if you do not? I have not said that I do not cause all the misery of the world. On the other hand, I boast of it. It is my business to represent the negative side of everything, including the thoughts of you earthbound people. How else could I control people? My opposition controls positive thought. I control negative thought. How do you gain control over the minds of these people? Oh, that is easy. I merely move in and occupy the unused space of the human brain. I sow the seeds of negative thought in the minds of people so I can occupy and control the space. You must have many tricks and devices by which you gain and hold control of the human mind. To be sure, I employ tricks and devices to control human thought. My devices are clever ones too. Go ahead and describe your clever tricks, Your Majesty. One of my cleverest devices for mind control is fear. I plant the seed of fear in the minds of people, and as these seeds germinate and grow, through use, I control the space they occupy. The six most effective fears are the fear of poverty, criticism, ill health, loss of love, old age, and death. Which of these six fears serve you the most often, Your Majesty? The first and the last, poverty and death. Fucking serious.